Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is by Juvas Devan. In the previous video, we learned how to apply Prim's algorithm on a given given connected graph to find the minimum spanning tree. The good thing about Prim's algorithm, you can apply the algorithm not only on a graph, you can apply this on a distance matrix also. You don't need a graph. As long as you have a distance matrix, you can apply Prim's algorithm to find the MST minimum spanning tree. So what you see here is how we are going to apply the Prim's algorithm on a distance matrix. You can read through the steps. You might not understand it. Now let me show you on a distance matrix how to apply this step by step. I'm going to take the distance matrix of this graph now. Now we have already learned how to form a distance matrix. The distance from A to B is A to A. Just put a hyphen, don't put zero there. A to B is 5, A to C is 8, and there are no other edges directly connecting to A. And from B, B to A is 5, B to B, no loop, nothing, B to C 7, B to D 6, and then that's all. No other direct single edge connecting from B to any of uh, these two vertices. And then if you take C, C to A 8, C to B 7, C to D 10, C to E 9, wait, C to C nothing, C to D 10, C to E 9, C to F nothing. And then start from D, D to A no direct vertex, now direct edge, D to B 6, D to C 10, D to D nothing, D to E 7, D to F 5. And start from E, E to A, B nothing, no direct edge. And E to C is 9, E to D is 7, E to E no loop, and then E to F is 4. And the last vertex F, A, B, C, D is 5, E is 4. How do you know your distance matrix is correct? If you look at the main diagonal, the, the matrix should be symmetrical about the main diagonal. What do I mean by symmetrical? Look at the numbers above and below the main diagonal. They are all same actually. So it's a distance matrix corresponding to this graph. Now I'm going to teach you how to apply Prim's algorithm on this distance matrix. So step number one, you have to choose a vertex. So I'm going to choose A. So what you need to do, you take this A, take it as number one here. Label it as number one. And then delete this row. That's the first step. Delete this row. And the column, right, the same vertex, label it as number one. Now, step number two. This number one, right, in this column, you need to find the least value, which is five, right? So take this five, and then you are going to repeat the process. Now, delete B, label it as number two. So we already got a and B. Yeah, we got A, B, 5. Now you have two columns. Look at both the columns and find the least number. Least number is, the smallest number is 6. So delete D, label it as 3. So from B to D. B to D, 6. Now you have three columns. Look at all the three columns numbered as one, two, three. Three columns and look for the numbers. Look for the smallest number. Here you have seven, but five is the smallest number. Circle it, cancel F, the corresponding row. Label this F as number four. So we have added D to F now. D to F. 5. 
Now you have one, two, three, four columns. Look at these four columns and find the least number. I can see four is the least number. So delete this, label this E as number five. So F to E is four. And then look at all the columns except this one and find the least number. All I can see is seven here, that's the least number, and then that's all, the seven. So delete C, C would be the next vertex. So B to C, that's seven. That's how you find the minimum spanning tree if you are given a distance matrix. I would suggest you to draw a diagram whenever you cancel this row immediately draw a diagram here because once you finish it it's going to be a little confusing to draw the diagram if in case they want you to draw the diagram. If they don't want you to find the diagram the minimum spanning tree they want you to find the weight of the minimum spanning tree just add all the circle numbers that's all. So 5, 12, 18, 22, 27 would be the weight of the minimum spanning tree. That's how you apply Prim's algorithm on a given distance matrix. So we learned how to apply Prim's algorithm on a distance matrix. Here I have one more distance matrix. Let's apply the algorithm here. The first step you need to choose a vertex. If it's mentioned in the question, they want you to choose a particular vertex, start from the vertex. Otherwise, just feel free to choose one. In this case, I'm going to choose some random vertex. Let's say I'm going to choose D. For it as D. Okay. For D, step number one, delete this row and label this D as number one. Okay. Side by side, if you want the minimum spanning tree, just put the vertex here. Now, in this column, the labeled one, right? The column corresponding to the labeled vertex. You have to look for the smallest number, which is 15. 15 is connecting B and D, right? So I'm going to put B. 15. Okay. If they don't want you to draw the graph, forget about this. Next step, strike out B now, the row B, label it number 2. And then, now you have two columns labeled as 1 and 2. You look at both the columns here and here and find the least number, the smallest number. I have 27 here, 23 here. 23 is the lowest number. 23 is connecting D and A. 23 is connecting D and A. And the next step, delete the row A, label A as number 3. You have three columns now. Find the smallest number in any of these three columns, the labeled columns. So here it's 12. Here it's 47. So 12 is the smallest one. So 12 is the smallest one. 12 is connecting A and C. Delete this C. Label it as number 4. Now you have four columns. Look at all the four columns and find the least number. Here it's 74. 71 is the smallest one. 71 is the smallest one. So connecting B and E. B and E. Delete E. And then this is number five. That's all. To find the weight of the minimum spanning tree, if you have the graph, add everything. If you haven't drawn the graph, just add all the circle numbers. 30, 38, 40, 50, 50, 121 is the weight of this minimum spanning tree. And this is how you apply Prim's algorithm on a distance matrix. So what you need to understand here, depending on what vertex you are choosing, I have chosen, I have started from D. You can start from any vertex if it's not mentioned in the question. But depending on the vertex you are choosing at first, you might get a different spanning tree. But remember this, the weight of the minimum spanning tree should be the same. You cannot get any other number. Even you can try the 
you can apply the prims, uh, prims algorithm here by choosing another vertex, you will still get the same weight.